What's up guys, my name is Alex Caves and welcome to another episode of Studio Caves Update. Today we are excited to announce some news. On this episode, I wanted to share with you our reflections of the last six months and to go over the changes that we're looking to implement starting August uh, to better our focus and to give you guys more value with our content. So, to catch you guys up on what's been happening the last six months, here's a list of what we've done thus far. I teamed up with a dear friend of mine from Brazil, Noichi, uh, because she expressed passion to help me create videos for YouTube. We've been creating videos ever since. We've completed the queen size desk. It is awesome. We got videos up on my channel. Check it out. We also started a new project, The Planter, uh, which is currently filming and building, though I've been a bit lazy the last few weeks. I need to get back into it this weekend and next week before I leave for Hawaii. Uh, we also started filming a bunch of other things um, to come up with different segments to our channel, but I just kind of filmed it randomly and it kind of it's kind of all over the place. So we'll see if we post them or not. I also teamed up with Ben, my OC in April, a fellow designer from UO, and we have been recording podcasts called... Design for Life podcast, which will be publishing soon onto iTunes. I'm very excited about it and hope you guys like it. Um, please subscribe to the podcast. Also on the side, I was part of this local program in town called Product of Eugene during the spring term, uh, where I mentored high school students for 10 weeks to teach them the beautiful world of design, which wrapped up uh, early July. It was tons of fun teaching the kids the design process and design thinking. I wish I was introduced to design right out of high school like they were, but I'm grateful for the opportunity to make that happen for these kids. And lastly, I've been putting in a lot of time with my taiko group. Taiko is a form of Japanese drumming, and I participate in a local club here twice a week. And I'm also running an intro to taiko workshop uh, on Tuesdays, which will be wrapping up next Tuesday. So I will have more time. <laughs> This may seem like a lot, and it is considering uh, that we're doing all of this on our free time uh, with me and my day job and school for Ben, uh, but there's so much we can improve on, and continual improvement and always striving to be better is the secret to success, so that is what we're going to push for. As Ben and I advocate during our podcast, we've applied the three principles of the design process, discovery, exploration, and implementation, to studio caves to A, identify the problem, B, come up with ideas to solve it, and C, test those ideas. So let's get into it. So in our discovery, we figured out that we have four major downfalls. Our upload rate was lagging. We wanted to do one or two. We've been kind of falling behind, and this mainly had to do with my unstructured nature of filming and talking points, uh, which made it hard for Noichi to figure out my intent for the episode. Um, number two, difficulties with Dropbox and communication across hemispheres. Noichi lives in Brazil, uh, as we said, um, and it's one of our values to be location independent. So we try to make Dropbox work, but it does make it difficult during the video refinement. Uh, process of having to go back and forth virtually and uh, of course there's time zones to consider. So three was our uh, extensive learning curve because uh, all of this is new to us. Me filming myself uh, create these projects, video editing for Noichi and of course doing podcasts with Ben uh, and everything to do with that um, is new. So and four is the limited time that I have for Studio Caves. Of course, this is a side hustle. I have a day job, um, so it's, it gets tough putting in an additional four hours a day to uh, work on this thing. But it is something that I am willing to put in the effort. We will be creating more content as we go. And also, in our research phase of discovery, uh, after observing YouTube and studying the greats like Gary V, uh, Casey Neistat, and Alex Steele, and building up their YouTube channel, uh, the biggest factor that we could find uh, which attributed to their success was their constant stream of content. They all have different genres and uh, they all kind of dominate their genres. But the, the one common theme is their consistency and their ability to upload every single day. Exploration. 
With the insight of our discovery, here are our three ideas to improve our channel. Number one, create consistent content. There is no way that we can upload daily content like the greats as of now with our limited free time, but we can certainly do once a week. And starting this episode, this segment right here called the Studio Caves Update will now be called Weekly Updates and will be uploaded every single week. Keep it simple, quick, and give you an inside look into what's going on with Studio Caves. And I promise it won't be as long as this one. Uh, our ultimate goal is legacy, and this is all about documenting the process of our growth and to share with you our journey uh, from the very beginning. And uh, this will be a lot of fun to look back on after a few years. And you can see that you were here supporting me from the very beginning. Number two, to create valuable content. One of our other insights was that all of us designers, self-learners, problem solvers, builders, craftsmen, our number one reason for using YouTube is to look up how-to videos on new skills or to troubleshoot a problem we are facing. So with that in mind, we thought it would be great to start a new segment called Tricks of the Trade or Skills 101 or <laughs> How to Not Kill Yourself Using Tools. Uh, we're still working on a title, but we feel a quick video on how to improve your skill set will be great. I'm a collector of skills, so we can cover almost anything from sketching, uh, Adobe Suite, SolidWorks, woodworking, and metal fabrication. So if you have any suggestions on what you want us to cover, comment below and we will work on it. We feel this will bring value to you guys, the viewers, at the same time bring uh, more people to our channel and uh, overall a win-win for everyone. And lastly, our number three, time management. Uh, with my limited free time, I need to prioritize studio caves, which means cutting back on everything else. It is a sacrifice I'm willing to make uh, to achieve my ultimate goal and the first thing uh, I need to cut back on is Tycho. As I've said, I have Tycho twice a week and sometimes performances on weekends. And I've already let my group know that I'm trying to cut back. And we are in the midst of restructuring the group so that everything can run smoothly without my full involvement. On the filming and Dropbox side, uh, only having to focus on four segments will help a lot in the communication with Noichi and organization of the Dropbox folder, saving us time consuming back and forth. Our goal is to maximize efficiency in the use of our time so that we can increase the quality and quantity of our content. We will find out as we implement these refinements, the third phase of our design principle, and see how these changes have impacted by the end of the year when we do another reflection. So that is our plan moving forward. Let us know what you think, like, please subscribe, and comment below. Uh, your feedback will help us improve, and I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thanks for watching this major update. I promise the following updates will be much shorter. And uh, we'll see you next week.